Um, this is obviously a game coming together because of the Purdue connection that that, uh, that Carroll College has. Um, and Carson's obviously, you know, they've gone from two wins to nine and already four this year. So just how nice is it to see coaches who come through this program go on and have success other places? Well, I think it's, for him, it's a, kind of a, it's a big jump. You know, obviously you're in, you're in high school and um, you're coaching, you, you know, you have a dream of a, being a college coach. And my first year was in um, Division Three, and we, we came one game away from the Final Four. And it was a great experience. And But he's doing something a little bit different. You know, he's, he's building a program, and it, it takes a little bit of time. But you can, you know, already see what he's been able to do. And obviously he's going to make a – he made a jump between his first and second year. Now, you know, he's going to make a bigger one. Looks like it between his second and third year. But it, it's, it's great, you know, that a former Purdue player now, you know, is able to – you know, live out his dream and be able to play um, at a very high level then be able to coach in high school and now coach in college and um, obviously we you know just trying to help him and you know getting back here and hopefully this experience helps our guys and helps his guys. Is that something that you'd like to continue to do is get former Purdue guys that are now coaching back in the gym? At yeah we've tried we've played Link Darner um, you know at Florida Southern um, we played him when they were at St. Joe's also so just anybody that has that connection. You know, we've played uh, Paul Combs' teams a couple times. And he's been at different spots. That was our team doctor when I played, Dr. Combs. Um, that's his grandson. So we, anytime you have those type of connections, we try to uh, be able to hook some things together. Sometimes it works, you know, sometimes it doesn't. What sort of strikes you about Carson just as an individual and why he makes such a in good coach and interesting coach? Well, I, obviously he's a, he's a highly intelligent person. His background and um, everything he's been able to do, publish books, you know, play, you know, professional basketball, you know, coach at a high school level, you know, coaching at a college level. You know, he's a guy that can, you know, wear a lot of different hats and, and be good at it. And anytime you're dealing with highly intelligent people that are motivated, that have a good rapport with people, they're going to be successful in what they do. When you're playing in exhibition games, what do you hope your team gets out of these the most as you get ready for the regular season? Um, just competing, you know, just going against somebody different, I think, helps them. Um, the thing that we have now um, that they don't have um, is that ultimate size. So it doesn't make it a, a perfect matchup. You know, normally you have a big guy, but you don't have two. So you're mad that you don't have that kind of a clash in practice every day. Well, we have that clash every day in practice. I think those two guys are tired of, of, of doing that at this point. Um, so it's good to go against somebody else. But if they can't handle that size, then normally people will have to do something from an extreme standpoint um, to stop it. And then guys are just open. Other night against Cal PA, you know, we had guys you know, just wide open all the time because they were worried about our size. And that doesn't help you run offense. You, know, you want to be able to run offense. But no, we've obviously played some zone and don't have any game experience of doing it. So we've, we've tried to use at least half the game at uh, playing zone. We'll try to do the same thing in this next game just to kind of see where our shortcomings are when we play different styles and you play different people who attack it differently. And it's interesting with, with Carroll because they've played some games and nobody has zoned them. So we don't know what they actually do. We've had to try to dive into it a little bit differently. But but it's still okay. I think it, it's going to it's gonna show some things that are going to focus. In retro